Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my RPG Maker VS8 video tutorials episode 9. In this episode I'll be I'll basically be making a hero which includes the actor tab in the database and the class tab in the database. And without further ado, let's set my timer. Oops, I meant for you to be 10. And then I meant for you to be zero. Hello. Okay. All right, let's jump right into this. To make an actor or party member, the first thing you need to do is, actually this is um, debatable. You could either make the class first or the actor first, but in Kate, and just for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna be doing it in order. So class first, before let me get rid of all the classes <coughs> before, excuse me for the cough. All right, let me clear that. All right, let's make this um, actor. First, when you make an actor, basically you make a new actor, you click the change maximum, you set the maximum, and then you make a new actor. If you wanna use the ones that are already made for you, you could do that, that's no problem with that. Um, what should we name our actor? Um, um, this guy. Okay. His nickname will be um the nickname Yeah, I'm gonna skip the nickname, but that basically just shows it in the um status actually you know what? Let me let me do it. This guy the man. Alright. Class, I'm not gonna set that yet because I'm gonna be creating our own um class. Initial level is the level you want the actor to begin with. So regularly you begin the actor at level one and then the maximum level which could go up to 99. But there is some um, script that breaks the limit and you can make like a thousand or something. But the maximum level, let's be reasonable and set it to 50. Um, description is basically um, the, the, this doesn't actually show up in the game, but. I think that script that that makes it show up in the game, but basically you just describe the character for yourself. Um, the guy that is the the guy that is the man. All right, and then here, like other um tabs and how you set your event graphics, you basically just double click that. And since I made this guy, what is that? Since I made this um NPC to um took which is tutorial NPC tutorial in uh in the episode when I was describing how to use the character generator, I'm just gonna use that one. And so they, you could use any of these that you want or import your own and use those. But for the sake of this um tutorial, I'm gonna be using the one I already made. Starting whipping, I'm gonna leave that blank because I want our guy to be relatively weak. Um, futures. I'm actually have to make a video. Actually, no, let me fit into this one. Future is basically the things that are different about your character or class or any other thing. This is um, a new addition to RPG Maker VS Ace. So I could change the uh, maximum HP to be 100% or 100% and 1. Um, basically, the thing is a they're basically like passive skills. They are passive, like equip weapons. That means the kind of weapons that your character can equip, like axe swords. But if that's left blank, it's not gonna be able to equip stuff. Special flag, all the battle, whatever. Basically, these are passive stuff that affects your character. And I'm gonna leave this blank and set it in the classes because it's gonna be basically the same. Okay. So let's jump right into classes. Classes is um again, basically, your character class. The um the one character one actor can have um can multiple actors can use the same class. So, what should we name this class? The the guy man. So our actor which is named this guy is in the class the guy man okay let's go ahead okay the esp curve this is basically how fast 
Oslo, you want your character to level up. So base value, meaning the base value that you want your character to be. Okay, let's set the extra value at zero. See, that means level one. <coughs> Excuse me. That means at level one, your character um, has 30 um, experience to start the game off with. And to get to level two, your character needs, nine, um, needs to get that 30 to 92 in order to level up to level two and so on. You could lower the base value, make it, if you want your character to level faster, you could definitely lower the base value to 10. That means your character only needs 31 ESP to get to level 2, um, 61 to get to level 3, and 103 to get to level 4. Um, extra value is basically the extra value that's going to be added on. Okay, let's say I add on just the 1. So the 10 is going to change to 11, and the 30 is going to change to 2. I mean, 31 is going to change to 2. So... Basically, if you want your character to level up real slow, just set all of these to the maximum. And I don't know why anyone would do that. I don't actually get the point of the extra value. I usually just keep that at zero. Set this to 30, maybe 35. Then acceleration A is basically how quickly your character gets to that level. So again, it just basically lowers it and raises the numbers. And the acceleration B also does the same thing, raises and lowers the value. So acceleration B A all the way up, and then set this one all the way up. That means your character will level really slow. All the way down, your character will level really fast. And then set this at zero, and then set this at 30. And that's about average leveling. Set that to zero, set that to zero. I only change the mean. And that's how I'm going to be doing my. Um, this guy. Okay. Check up on my time because I'm trying to make this a quick video, which is not going to be. Um, yikes. Okay. The skills is where you set. These are the skills. You pick a skill that you want. Shout. Dragonborn now. Um, and then you set what level you want it to be at. That means as soon as I reach level five, I'm going to learn the skill shout. And you can make a little note for yourself if you want. Make a note for yourself if you want. It doesn't really have any effect unless you're using like a script or something that makes it do something. Again, these note sections basically are just for you. Um, HP, maximum HP. Um, the settings over here, A, those are basically randomly generated curves. Because they're not all the same thing each time. Or are they? Nope, they're not. They're randomly generated. So basically, I'm only going to be setting the um, maximum HP and the app plots for the rest of those. So basically, if you want to do this, all you have to do is hit generate curve. And then you pick what level you want your maximum HP to be at level on level 1. And then you pick how much you want it to be on level 99 which is the max level so let's go ahead and pick 500 and then this is how fast you want it to get to that 500 fast slow or average let's make it a little bit towards fast and that's the curve right there and it's basically the same thing for all of this so basically set them this is for your health this is for your magic this is for your attack your defense your magic attack your magic defense agility and luck so all the same you could just go ahead and said i'm going to leave them at the fault um and that's okay yeah never mind um let's go ahead and delete this delete this delete this okay weapon type that's actually what i want to skill type yeah let's leave my character as special and let's set up um i want my character to be able to use swords so equip armor I mean, equips um type um weapon type. I want you to use swords, and I want you to also use katanas. And then I want you. What armor do I want you to use? Mm -hmm. Um, heavy armor. Yeah. Okay. So basically, these the futures are passive skills that affect your character. Like this passive skill. Um. Yeah, the passive stuff to that affects your characters in the background, but actually 
has an effect on your guy. And that's basically it for this episode. And I will see you guys on the next episode, which is Making Skills. And thanks again for tuning in this Saturday morning. And I will see you guys soon. Peace.